The Muddy Creek Wetlands are the largest constructed wetlands in Wyoming and are located off of Highway 789, 20 miles north of Bags. The wetland is one of nine priority wetland complexes in the state and runs for about seven miles, covering 700 surface acres on 32 different ponds. With the associated flood irrigated meadows and riparian areas along the creek, there is about 1,400 to 1,500 acres of wetland riparian habitat in a very arid environment. You know, wetlands for us, when we just talk about the quick thing, is, is the improvement of water quality, diversity of wildlife species, economic benefit to those landowners and those ranchers to be able to increase that base forage production, the recreation value. So across the board, it has tangible and measurable uh, economic and ecological values as we look at these. Everybody's touched by this in some form or fashion. They are a veritable oasis for both wildlife, livestock, and people. You're gonna see every species of duck that you would normally find in the state of Wyoming, but the shorebird composition is probably one of the most impressive things. So curlews, egrets, yellow legs, willets, white-faced ibis, snowy egrets, we've had cattle egrets, we've had one great white egret. We get a lot of early Arctic nesting birds that move through here, sander lanes, spotted sandpipers, uh, snowy plovers. Uh, in the last, say, eight years, we've had a, uh, a flight of uh, tundra swans that will stop for a short time very early in the spring and then will come back very late in the fall before freeze up. You get the other avian species. This is probably some of the largest population of marsh wrens and, and yellow-headed blackbirds. In the state of Wyoming, we see things like bitterns and black-crowned night herons. Sandhill cranes. And the other unique component about this is, is because these wetlands are situated right next to sagebrush, greasewood, uplands, as you will occasionally find things like burrowing owls, mountain plovers, sage grouse. We do have sage grouse that move in for brood rearing later in the summer. But you have that desert species assemblage right next to the wetland obligate species, which makes you look one way and you're looking at burrowing owls and you look the other way, you're looking at white-faced ibis. Very unique setting. We had the University of Wyoming Cooperative Wildlife Research Unit come over and do a baseline avian inventory, uh, identified about 23 different species of, of bird species uh, along this reach of Muddy Creek. Uh, since that time, that was done uh, about 1998. Uh, we've now documented over 128 different avian species using the wetlands. Probably the most impressive thing is, is, is you can get on Google Earth and you can see these facilities from 30,000 feet <clears throat> and it is literally an oasis in the middle of the desert. The real story here is, is one about putting together a, a team of people that are committed to make conservation happen on the ground and create win-win situations for everybody.